Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Joy. If you're new here, my fiance Kent is downstairs and this is our Juneteenth wedding series here on the channel where we're sharing and documenting our journey to our wedding day, which is on June 19th, 2021. We're doing everything ourselves. We don't have a wedding planner. This is a completely DIY wedding and we're super excited about it. And today's little project is going to be our welcome sign or our, you know, just a sign that we're gonna have in the yard somewhere for our backyard wedding. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is the frame that we decided to pick up. It's a gold antique frame. It has a lot of detailing on it very pretty we're going to get a replacement glass to put inside of it and we're going to put our lettering and everything on it in the meantime but we'll show you guys that later hello i'm here kent the fiance yeah so we're just about to stay in this easel that we got from hobby lobby very affordable it's like 40 dollars uh, we're gonna use this a verithane uh wood stain in the provincial color I think that's what, how you say it, provincial. Um, we're just gonna use an old t-shirt that I, you know, tore apart. And we're just gonna get to it. All right, so what we're about to do now is just stay in the easel. Didn't really take us that long. We did two coats. Uh, we did the first coat, then waited about maybe five or ten minutes before we started the second one. Uh, we took those uh, pieces that hold the frame together off so we could do that separately. So we could get, you know, in little cracks and crevices and everything. Uh, all in all, it took us about probably about 30 minutes to to do the whole easel. It was a very quick and easy process. So now we're going to install the replacement glass. This is a 16 by 20 and it fits perfectly within the frame. So make sure that you know what size, of course, your frame is before you buy a glass for it. So to do this, we're just going to hot glue this. Um, we got the hot glue gun from Hobby Lobby as well. And Kent is just going around each corner um, just so that we can really quickly place the glass in there now this did kind of start drying down so you really really want to make sure that you're moving fast but after he did that we just slid the glass right in so after we hot glued it and placed the glass inside we did go ahead and go over it with hot glue again just on the top just for some extra security and when i tell you this glass is not going to move it literally will not budge like it is secure in there really really deeply secured in there It looks so good. The material, look at the material. 
now we're just prepping the glass and cleaning it so that we can place down our stenciling so i got these stencils off of etsy i will also leave a link in the description box to where i got this exact um stenciling from but this is where things get tricky so we got some really really big words and then we got some really small words um, just to kind of fill in the sign so the big words were really easy to place you just kind of peel off the backing and then you lay the stenciling down on the glass how you want it to lay you know you want to make sure you measure it and everything before you put it down and then you just you know peel off the backing it's so easy in that sense Where we started to struggle was when we got to the smaller words. The smaller words were so hard, you guys. I don't know why. Maybe it was just that the contact paper on the smaller lettering wasn't as sticky. I'm not sure, but all I know is that that was rather difficult. So really just make sure you take your time when doing that. But once we had everything laid out the way that we wanted it to be, we just went ahead and sped through that process. Our sign says, welcome, the adventure begins, Joy and Kent, and then it has our wedding date and our wedding hashtag on the bottom. I think it's super, super cute. Um, are you proud? Oh, um, can you So this is how our sign turned out, you guys. We absolutely love it. I just went ahead and added some greenery and some flowers to it to zhuzh it up, you know, give it a little bit more pizzazz with a nice, soft, like, bohemian natural touch <laughs> is what I like to call it. But I really hope you guys like it. We love it and we absolutely cannot wait to have it on display at the wedding. This DIY is useful for so many different types of occasions. You could use different frames. You could use a mirror instead of just a piece of glass and lettering, but you could really get creative with it. So if you guys decide to do anything similar to this for any of your occasions, definitely let us know in the comment section down below. So if you like what you've seen in this video, just do us a favor, hit that like button, comment, tell us what you liked about it, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.